Oh my gosh! <laughs> Drumming drama, going off the deep end, and a whole lot of other cat and mouse mischief. Get ready to laugh because today we are breaking down and reacting to all of the hilarious medical scenes and over the top injuries to an all time great animation, Tom and Jerry. All right, let's dive right in. Typically what we'll end up seeing is somebody might amputate a finger or they'll cause a laceration. If you have a laceration, hold pressure to the area, wrap it, get to the hospital. We'll typically get an x-ray. We'll make sure that there's no foreign bodies inside the wound and make sure that the tendons are intact. Make sure your nerves are intact. If it's amputated, whole different story. Gosh, who's gotten something slammed on their foot? I have, it hurts like the dickens. A lot of times people will just come to the emergency department for an x-ray just to see if they did break it. If you break a toe, there's really not much to do. You pretty much buddy tape it next to the one next to it. Uh-oh. Oh, bad idea. <laughs> In this case, getting hit directly with an object on your head, things we think about is the laceration that potentially will occur, fracture to the bone that will occur, and then the underlying structures. You're getting such a blow to the head that you're causing a subdural hematoma, unlikely an epidural hematoma. <laughs> oh my God. Whoa! <laughs> It happens, you gotta be really careful where you stick your fingers into the bowling ball and you might not be able to get them out. It has to do with the fact that like your knuckles. Those machines that do those pins are actually really dangerous. You have to be very careful because they're like solid metal structures that come down with force. Be careful with that. He's made it to a turtle, that's funny. With the drums, you gotta be careful, right? You know, worry about your eardrums, too much loud noise, you don't wanna perforate your tympanic membrane or cause chronic hearing loss from, you know, too much loud music, so maybe throw some earplugs in to protect them. Then, okay, worry about your eyeballs, be careful with those drumsticks, don't get them hit in your eye. It does happen, corneal lacerations or abrasions. We're on a cruise ship, sunbathing. Yeah. <laughs> what? Imagine that happened. You'd lose a separation of your limbs, all of them at the same time. Tourniquet every single thing and get somebody to a hospital in a timely fashion. Then you actually have to be transported to a replantation, basically, like facility where they can actually put everything back together, hopefully. But pretty rare for that to occur. <laughs> <laughs> Later, it's gonna go off the ship. Right, I've seen stories in the news where people literally fall off cruise ships. Falling off a cruise ship, that height is immense. And then obviously falling into the water, you're hitting it like a ton of bricks, right? <laughs> I was taking all the water out of the water. <laughs> What? Oh man, that's where your body definitely would feel like. Jumping at the pool and hitting the bottom, you worry about cervical fractures, you worry about obviously brain injury and skull fractures. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Bad idea. I was like a baseball bat, love it. Oh! Oh, look at those swollen eyes. Oh! 
<laughs> Getting hit in the front, fracture your frontal sinus, which actually sits right here. There's like air in between the bones. So you can have a head injury, a coup counter coup injury of your brain where it sloshes back and forth. You can break your nose, eye traumas. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you know, that is a nasty cervical injury. Look how stretched out that is. Obviously that didn't happen. I've literally run so fast, turned my head to try to catch a football. I was in somebody's backyard and smacked my head right into the tree. Oh, oh my gosh, I knew that was gonna happen. Be careful with the gum. I've seen people break their teeth because this gum just sits around all the time, so it's super hard. <laughs> so if you had that type of device in or around your face, it's gonna cause a significant amount of soft tissue, skeletal problems where you're gonna blow off the bone. Blast injuries, we'll see a lot of times hollow organs or things with air in them will have issues. And then the other thing you worry about is definitely your lungs causing like a pneumothorax. Oh, what? Uh, I haven't seen anybody swallow a ladle. I've seen screws, I've seen nails. Typically, a gastroenterologist will go in to get them out of the stomach if they've come in in a timely manner. Oh, who has ever done that? That's like the classic joke in movies that sticks up. So people typically will step on that part of nails you in the head, cause some head trauma. What? Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. You trying to drown it? Oh my gosh. <gasps> That's awesome, good creativity. Now would a woodpecker be able to put that many holes through your belly? Probably unlikely. Iron to the head. Right there, you're getting a cervical fracture. You gotta be really careful. Hopefully it's not on. I mean, you can also get simple burns. Oh, using a crowbar. Oh my gosh. Look at those nails. Oh, and the fingers. <laughs> You know, crush injuries to the foot, we get x-rays, it's gonna swell up a lot. The concern is which bone is it? Is it proximal, is it distal? Is it more lateral than it is medial? This show was actually very relatable as I see these types of injuries every single day in the ER. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you binge watch this entire playlist right here and make sure you guys to subscribe, smack that like button, hit those notifications. Also, I have some really exciting things in the works that I cannot wait to announce. To learn more about it and to get some extra extra bonus content, make sure that you sign up for my mailing list, all right? It's in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.